All food starts somewhere. Actually, with someone. A farmer. Over 500 million smallholder farmers produce enough food for more than two-thirds of the Earth's population. In Vietnam, many of these farmers grow cocoa beans. Farmers like Phu are dependent on cocoa to support their families. They spend their days nurturing the cacao pods, which harvest the cocoa beans that are turned into the chocolate eaten and enjoyed around the world. The country's tropical climate and rich soils are perfect to grow cocoa. But there are also many challenges. And when these crops get sick, farmers' livelihoods can depend on the help and advice of experts. In my village, we live on agriculture. I grow cocoa for income, and rice and other vegetables, which have fed my family. Farming cocoa is my passion, and we rely on it. The life of cocoa begins as a seed. At five years, the trees grow pods ready to harvest. Each pod contains a few dozen cocoa beans, which must be carefully removed. The beans are then fermented for six to ten days, which gives the chocolate its flavor. After drying in the sun for one to two weeks, they are sold at the market. But only if the cocoa is healthy. In the past, when my crops got sick, I became worried. Worried because without them, life for my family would be very hard. Now, if I see something wrong with my crops, I can bring a sample to the plant clinic. The plant doctors show me what to look out for. They tell me what the disease is called and how to cure it without using harmful chemicals. I love being a plant doctor. In the last 10 years, cocoa farming has increased here by 10 times, so there are lots of people to help. The Plant Wise program is really making a difference here in Vietnam and in other developing countries. It gives farmers free advice and support that they wouldn't otherwise have. We can help them to grow better healthier crops and earn more money for their families. <laughs> 